Crocodile vs. Python Once upon a time, the reptiles that ruled the Earth were dinosaurs. They're long gone, but many reptiles have stood the test of time, and they are the new reptilian rulers. In the classification of reptiles, there are four orders. Testudines, Crocodilia, Squamata, and Rhynchocephalia. Which animals of which orders are the most dominant? Which reptiles want to claim the throne of king? Let's take one of the most feared animals from the order of Crocodilia, the crocodile, and pit him against a terrifying animal from the order of Squamata, the python. So the stage is set. It's a crocodile versus a python. What's going to happen? Exploring these reptiles. First, we need to explore these reptiles so we know exactly what we are getting into. Because we are ready to send a crocodile and a python into battle, but it's not like there is just one crocodile or one python in the world. So we need to determine just which ones we are selecting for this fight. There are 14 types of crocodile spanning all across the world. To name a few, there's the American crocodile in Central America, Northern South America, and some on the southern tip of Florida in the United States. There's the Nile crocodile, spanning across much of Africa, and there's a saltwater crocodile that is present in northern Australia, South and Southeast Asia, and Oceania. There are 11 types of pythons in the world, although they don't span as much of the world as crocodiles. They do, however, span large portions of Africa and Asia. To name a few types of python, there's the African rock python all over sub-Saharan Africa. There's the reticulated python found in Southeast Asia, there's the Sumatran blood python found in Southeast Asia. And there's the Burmese python, which is quite common in South and Southeast Asia. Let's choose some of the most popular options here. The Nile crocodile and the saltwater crocodile are probably the two most popular crocs in the world, and the reticulated python and the Burmese python are the most popular constrictors. We'll break down each of these animals just to get a good sense of where we stand if that battle were to happen between either croc and either python. So let's get started. Crocodiles We're going to take a look at our crocodile champions first. There is the saltwater crocodile, which just so happens to be the largest crocodile there is, and thus the largest reptile alive. Saltwater crocodiles are generally around 21 feet long, but some have exceeded 23 feet in length. They're usually going to be upwards of 2,000 pounds, 2,500 pounds being typical, but some have clocked in at an enormous 4,400 pounds. Our Nile crocodile is no slouch. He just so happens to be the second largest crocodile and second largest reptile. A Nile crocodile has a maximum length of 21 feet, but around 17 feet is around average length. They can weigh as much as 2,400 pounds, but you'll typically be dealing with a Nile crocodile that's around 1,000 pounds and more. Ironically, where the Salty is the largest crocodile and the Nile is the second largest, if we're looking at bite force, we swap the two. The Nile crocodile has not only the strongest bite of all crocodiles, but it has the strongest bite of any living animal, a staggering 5,000 PSI. And the saltwater crocodile possesses the second strongest bite force among crocodiles, 3,700 PSI. It falls to third strongest of any living animal, just barely behind a great white shark, with a 4,000 PSI bite force. By the way, the Nile crocodile and saltwater crocodile don't just have the strongest and third strongest bites of the animal kingdom, they're miles ahead of the rest of the pack. Coming in at fourth is the American alligator at 2,125 PSI, about 1,600 PSI less than the salty. Fifth overall is the hippo at 1,800 PSI, and sixth is the jaguar at 1,500 PSI. So a bite from one of these two top crocodiles is not just strong, it is devastating. Besides the size of these crocs and the sheer power packed into their jaws, there is more about them that is horrifying. They're semi-aquatic, so you could find them on land or in the water, and they're dangerous in both mediums. However, the last place you want to come across a crocodile is in the water. They are far more agile and dangerous in the water. Unless, of course, if you were a fully aquatic being, and even then you still don't want to see a croc there. Crocodiles have around 80 teeth and will replace them about 50 times in their lifespan, which could be anywhere from 35 to 70 years. 
They also have osteoderms on their skin, which are tiny bones that act as a sort of armor. They are ambush predators that sneak up on prey and attack when the moment is right. And if all that didn't scare you enough, get ready for the sneaky, scary fact about crocs. Unlike most other reptiles, crocodiles have a cerebral cortex. This is the outer layer of neural tissue on the brain, which plays a key role in attention, awareness, perception, thought, and memory. So it's not bad enough that they're strong brutes, but they're smart, and they remember. Let's see what the pythons are working with. Pythons. As we said, we'd be working with the reticulated python and the Burmese python. Two of the most popular species when somebody says python, and there is good reason for that. If we take a look at the reticulated python, it is the longest snake in the world. They regularly reach lengths just short of 20 feet, and oftentimes are indeed 20 feet long. That is a scary sight, but they can even exceed 21 or 22 feet with some really large specimens. Reticulated pythons are huge. Not only are they the longest snakes in the world in terms of weight, they are the third largest. They will often weigh over 100 pounds, nearing 150 pounds, and some reticulated pythons have even hit weights of 165 pounds. Now, when we're talking about some of the world's biggest snakes, in addition to the reticulated python, one of the other top candidates is in fact the Burmese python. The Burmese python is on average the second heaviest snake. Both of these pythons only fall short to the green anaconda in terms of heaviest snakes. Burmese pythons will typically weigh around 160 pounds, but there have been several specimens that have clocked in at more than 200 pounds, and they are typically between 15 to 19 feet long. So we have the long and quite heavy reticulated python, and we have the heavy and quite long Burmese python. Both gigantic snakes, but with somewhat different dimensions. Both are animals you'd never want to encounter while lost in the wild, nor does any animal that a python considers prey. The problem is, if you're an animal living in the area of a reticulated python or a Burmese python, you may not know for sure if it considers you prey. It all depends on the size of the python, because they are masters of eating humongous prey that you wouldn't expect. They'll commonly eat rodents, lizards, and birds. They will also eat smaller mammals like monkeys, but when they're bigger, they've been known to eat wallabies, pigs, even antelope. There have even been times where the remains of a small leopard was found inside a python's stomach. So not only is a python a formidable opponent to some larger animals and even some larger predators, but it might finish the battle by eating its opponent. Now, when a python scopes out an animal that it wants to eat, it will bite the prey and then quickly wrap around it with its body. You've seen the horrifying image, one of these constrictors wrapping around the body of an animal, trapping it and cutting off the animal's blood flow, completely smothering it until it dies. Then the python may eat the prey at its leisure. Just imagine being trapped between those coils. If that python is around 20 feet, that's so much body of the snake to wrap around its prey over and over again, squeezing the life out of its victim. While squeezing its prey, even smaller reticulated pythons can apply 6 to 10 pounds of force per square inch. But the largest ones, like the 21-footers we are taking a look at, they can apply 50 pounds of force per square inch. Yes, every inch of that 21-foot python is applying 50 pounds of force, each and every inch. And while that is impressive, the Burmese python applies even more force with its weight and power. The larger Burmese pythons, the ones hitting 19 feet in length, they can apply over 200 pounds of force per square inch. It's no wonder they can bring down an entire deer with that sheer power. Not to mention these pythons can bite down with strong jaws. Their bite force is estimated to be in the hundreds when it comes to pounds per square inch, and they have long sharp teeth that puncture the skin, causing nasty wounds. Usually a python will bite a person out of self-defense, and it doesn't go any further than that. But that's not always the case. They have killed humans before, and in at least six cases, it has been found that a reticulated python has eaten a person. So don't go underestimating these constrictors. If it wants to attack you, if it wants to eat you, once it wraps itself around you, there is nothing that you, a human, is going to be able to do about it. But would a crocodile be able to do anything about it? Reptile Face-Off It's time for the Reptile Face-Off. 
Now, we did explore both the Nile crocodile and the saltwater crocodile, and we also examined the reticulated python and the Burmese python, so we'd like to try all the possible battles. Let's take that Nile crocodile and his strongest bite in the animal kingdom and pit him against the reticulated python. Now, some pythons can be agile in the water, but they're never going to be as agile as a crocodile. The croc owns that water. The only chance the python has is on land, and he could potentially get behind the crocodile and wrap himself around him. The reticulated python can apply at most 50 psi when squeezing. That's not nothing, but the Nile crocodile is large and strong, and don't forget cunning. The crocodile knows all he has to do is get one bite, and that python is a goner. The world's strongest jaws are at play here. The Nile crocodile wins that matchup almost every time. Now, if we are talking about a Nile crocodile versus a Burmese python, it's a little bit of a different story. The Burmese python is heavier, stronger, able to apply more than 200 psi when squeezing its opponents to death. Now, the Burmese python still has to watch out for that massive bite, because that bite spells game over. However, the Burmese python can apply enough pressure to squeeze and kill a crocodile faster than other pythons. And in fact, there are plenty of cases where a Burmese python has attacked small to medium-sized crocodiles, constricted them, killed them, and then eaten them whole. So this is not without precedent. If it's a Burmese python as big as it can get, and that Nile crocodile isn't one of the biggest ones. If we are talking about a crocodile under 17 feet long, then that matchup could go either way. We'll give it a 50-50 chance of going one way or the other. And now, there is the saltwater crocodile. Yes, the bite force has dropped, but remember, it's still 3,700 psi. That bite is still a devastating blow, and it's also coming from a bigger mouth. But we have to remember that the saltwater crocodile is huge, the biggest reptile on the planet. 21 to 23 feet long, 2,500 pounds or more. Put them against the reticulated python or the Burmese python, we don't see the pythons having much of a chance. This crocodile's skin is so tough, he's so muscular, powerful, he's gigantic, no python could eat him. The best a python could do is squeeze him to death and then slither away. We hope for the python's sake he doesn't try eating a full-grown salty, he may die attempting that meal. But in the end, the saltwater crocodile would just be too much for the pythons to handle. He would win that battle nearly every single time. Yes, leopards have been found in the stomachs of pythons, but leopards are nothing compared to full-grown crocs. Leopards range between 100 to 200 pounds. This is a whole different beast. We'll never say that the biggest snakes in the world wouldn't have a chance. They'd have a decent chance. But we're also talking about the biggest reptile on planet Earth. He may be no dinosaur, but that saltwater crocodile is king of the modern reptiles. 